Yeah, but I started the Cooper Fish label to, to do the um, old school boards. That's what I liked to write at the time, and been doing it ever since. I started out working with my dad at, you know, building houses. In, around 1966, I got a, uh, my first surfboard, and uh, then a year later, um, everything was going short, and I, I, you know, I sawed the back off, moved the fin up, and re-glassed it, and it just kind of went from there. I just kind of, I, I basically ruined another 10 boards after that. I was hands-on from the time I was, my dad had me on a roof, uh, stripping roofs when I was, when I was eight, you know, and he, you know, he didn't hold back. And I, I, you know, I was a head uh, ditch digger too. I did, I'm really good at ditches. I'm really good at that. You know? Give me the old tool, and I'll uh, I'll use that one instead of the one that the one that has the the guarantee that you can take it back and return it because basically that's what you're going to be doing for the with that tool. You know, I just like I don't like the feel of the lighter stuff. I like the you know, it's like the same thing with like surfboards. I like stuff that's something that's substantial when you're using it, you know. It's just what I grew up with and it's what I like. I'm, I'm just old and I've used this stuff originally and I liked it and I don't see any reason to change it. I sound like my dad. <laughs> something new. It's all about something new. I, I just don't want to do what I did last year, you know. And that's what I got into that routine for a while there with the, um, with the greatest hits, you know, with, it was like you're doing this stuff, but you're not, your heart's not in it. So I had to kind of move away from it. The color work in the 90s is, you know, I'd see the old tiger stripes, airbrush and different spray in, and there were some solid colors. There were some transparent colors and cool stuff, but there really wasn't any resin art going on. So kind of wanted to do it because it was, I liked it. Figured out, a buddy and I figured out the, uh, process and how to, you know, the rules of working with colored resin and um, we just went for it. I just went for it. There was an old Jacobs print ad with, uh, with uh, Mike Purpose and Robert August and Rich Chu, and the, the Jacobs ad, and it had some, some inlays with splashes on the deck of these little mini guns. And I looked at that and went, oh, we could, I could do something like that. And went with that, you know, and then did, went off in that direction. So pretty soon I had kind of all the tools to do the color work, you know, the old way, but then kind of maybe add a little um, flair to it, you know, without getting too grotesque. Try to keep it tasteful, you know, and that's where I've kind of moved away from it when there's so many of them out there now. I just wanted, to, I just do a lot, of, you know, I do a lot of boards with the, you know, solid color brush finish. I'm doing these flexibles with the tow weight foam now, and I think that it's fun. There's a lot to it. I think that there's more than meets the eye to that ride with that with that foam. Uh, between the flex, the uh, momentum. My relationship with Fiberglass Hawaii, uh, God, it started, it was 91, 92 maybe, and they could provide everything. I mean, they have, it's one stop shopping and they provide everything I, I need to make a board. Uh, the other thing that's good about Fiberglass Hawaii is my friends that work there, you know, it's like they, there's their wealth of information. It's, it's a, it, you know, there's a source for uh, materials and, and information, you know, and, and they, uh, they've always been fair with me and um, they go out of their way for, to provide a good service. This is a new model I'm doing. It's, it's called the Kink. And the story of the Kink is um, I shipped a board back east and basically it must have got caught up with a guy on a forklift or something like that or got jammed into something because it broke. They actually broke the board. You know, two feet up is broken. I got the board back, you know, they, they paid me to make a, the guy a new board, and they gave me the board back because it was, I told them it was pretty much useless, which it was at the time. So I had it hanging up here for a long time, and a guy um, came over and said, what are you gonna do with that broken board? And I said, well, you want it? You know, he said, yeah, yeah. I said, okay, take it. He goes, I, I know a guy that can fix it. So the guy fixed it. This guy has a lot of my boards that ended up, ended up with the board, and he um, started riding it. And, He'd call me and say, this is the best board I've ever owned. I go, well, I said, did the guy fix it right? Did he like, did he like, does it have a kink in it? He, so he goes and looks at it and he goes, yeah, it has a kink. He, he didn't, he misaligned it. So everybody that ride the board would get to me and say, Gene, this board's insane. So I go, when you guys come back, bring the board with you and I'll, um, I'll, I'll make it. You know, I'll just duplicate the flaw because if it's working that good, we'll just do it. I replicated it and now we make it. 
Summit Jeans customers trust him so much that they give him very little direction and let him take the reins. What they do is give me a framework and they always, they trust me, the people I deal with, and it's like, give me some creative license. Trust me, it'll be okay, you know? Because it's almost like they want to design a cooper fish where, hey, wait, I, there's already a guy doing that. Yeah, that's, I, I think I have that job already. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's the only way I can do it. It's, I really, you know, I don't want to be a disgruntled old shaper. You know, I try to keep it fresh and kind of keep it, keep it uh, exciting in some way for me. Even though the stuff is, it may look very generic that I'm doing now, it's, yeah, I put a lot into it. You know, it's a lot of work. And my whole thing is let's make it strong and work good and, 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 and you know, nice.